what's up it's hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here today is november 30th it's getting cold oh my gosh i'm currently out of the barn trying to get a few things done uh, last night we had a bunch of rain bringing in a cold front i have a couple things to do. i have a couple things to do to make sure everybody is comfortable but around here we don't really have to do that much since it doesn't get like super super cold most of the stuff I did last night because I didn't know how much rain we would be getting. Um, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to do stuff today. So, and then my dad and I have to get some things from the feed store. <laughs> and then when I get back, I have to feed. Hey, do a handsome. Hi, dog. Okay, so over here we have our little piggies. We have Squiggly and Wilbur. Um, they have a way to get out of like wind and stuff, but I'm going to put um a good bit of hay in there so they can get in it yes this is going to do so i have to go and grab some hay there we have miss nala she is so cute okay i gotta get the wheelbarrow god i gotta go rinse it out because it has a bunch of water in it from last night Okay, so here we have Reese. My brother already put some hay in here. Um, I didn't know that, but I'm gonna put a little bit more for her. Okay, so she'll kind of fix it however she wants. This is. She'll kind of burrow in it like they do. <laughs> Y'all can kind of see what they look like whenever they come out of their hay because they get inside of it. Make their little bed. Okay, I went ahead and just fed them. So I can do this without them getting out. since they like go inside of it. I try to go up.
Okay, I'm done with the pigs now. So, so I'm gonna go and get the trailer ready now to go because my dad's almost here and we're gonna run up to the feed store to get a few things that we have to have today. And when I get back, I have to feed up and what else do I have to do? I have some babies in the barn that I need to move into the stall because the they're not really out of the wind that much. So I'm gonna do that whenever I get back. All right, y'all, it is now a few days later. I have been editing my video and I unfortunately lost several clips that I had from a few days ago. I had filmed me like unloading feed and moving the babies in the barn and stuff and I filmed something else and I lost the clips because I've been having trouble with my hard job and stuff and I had already deleted them off my memory card. Yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, all the animals have been doing really good. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, we don't really have to do that much living in Florida because it doesn't get like that cold. All of our dogs are like inside dogs and then Southern, you know, she comes outside a lot too. But you know, she sleeps inside and everything. And then the cats, if they want inside, we let them inside. I do have blankets for the horses just in case I need them, but most of the time I don't need them because all of them have really good winter coats. And you have to be careful with horses though that are underweight and horses that, you know, are clipped that don't have a winter coat or, you know, just older horses. They can't really grow a winter coat as well anymore. It depends on your situation really, like if they're in a barn, if they're turned out, if it's raining, it all depends. And then a lot of the times horses do not drink that much water in the winter because they don't really have that desire to go and drink so i like to incorporate some kind of salt into their diet in the like fall and winter we have a salt block because all of our horses will go and lick one but if your horses don't um you can put salt like in their food um to kind of like encourage them to drink a little bit more and you want to make sure that your horses have access to good forage because their guts are made to be grazing like almost all the time so that could cause them to call it can cause ulcers and everything if they don't have you know hay or grass and you know most of the time in the fall and winter you don't really have grass so you want to have like block of alfalfa or hay nets spread around your pasture you know a hay feeder something where they can be able to like forage on and stuff and also fat equals warmth so you're going to want them to have a little bit more calories in the fall and winter anyway to keep them a little bit warmer. Same thing with your chickens. Um, you know, most people give their chickens corn in the winter time to make them a little bit fatter to keep them warmer. But our chickens, like chickens are pretty hardy in the cold. So like, I don't really have problems with the chickens. You know, at night they're in their coop. So, you know, they have walls all around them. So they're not something I really have to worry about. Um, in the video I showed me putting hay in the pig pen, they burrow in the hay and you know, they have walls as well to get out of the wind and everything. Same thing with our rabbit. She has four walls and a bunch of hay that she burrows in. And the ducks are good. The ducks go in the barn, but you know, it's like 40 degrees and they're swimming in the pond. <laughs> I think it's so cool how they can do that. And then let's see what else. The cows are very cold hardy. They're piling, so they're doing good. They have walls. They can get out of the wind and everything. So yeah, the main thing with the horses is that, you know, at night they have something with three sides to go in, you know, with a roof so they can get out of the wind. And then making sure they have access to hay. I normally spread alfalfa and coastal. I mix it and I spread it all around the property. And then they have access to their salt block that is by our water trough. Something I've also talked about in one of my recent videos is giving them mineral oil or sand clear, metamucil, something like that to help clean them out in the fall and winter just in case they get some sand inside of their systems. It could cause them to colic. So normally I'll do mineral oil maybe like once a month just to kind of help flush them out a little bit. I know from Ace Hardware and our local feed store you can get a whole gallon of it and I think Tractor Supply has a whole gallon of mineral oil also and you could probably order it off of like amazon or something and then if you're still like in the early fall months your chickens are probably molting meaning that they are losing their feathers and growing in new ones um to keep them warm in the winter and during this time you want to incorporate more protein in their diet because feathers are made up of protein so they need um, more protein to grow in their new feathers there's several things you can give um, during molten season but I think cat food and mealworms are the best things because they're higher in protein and a lot of the times you'll see them eat their feathers because they know that they're made out of protein and they're trying to grow new ones so if you see your chicken eating feathers they probably need more protein in their diet before I go I want to give today's notification shout out 
Today's shout out goes to Susanna. I'm gonna have it up there on this screen. And she said, I have been subscribed and had the notification bell on for the longest time I can remember. Love your videos and keep up the great work. Thank you so very much, Susanna. I appreciate your support so, so very much. I appreciate every single one of y'all. If you would like a chance to win a notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel down below and click on the notification bell and just let me know that you did that down in the comments. And y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what your favorite season is. I don't really know what my favorite is because I love like something about every single season. Like I love fall and winter because of all the family like festivities and stuff because I love family so much. In the spring, I love all the baby animals and the flowers and everything. I thank y'all so, so very much for watching today's video. And I just thank y'all so much for everything and all of your support. I will see y'all really, really soon with another video. Y'all be sure to stay warm and stay safe out there. I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.